I'm in Dynamics 365 for operations here and if I go into the organization administration we've got a menu under the setup here which is called document branding. Now in the standard Dynamics 365 um, these won't apply to any of the existing reports so there is a download that you can apply to add some additional reports for uh, sales invoices uh, for example, sales confirmations, and there's about 14 additional reports. Um, so I'll cover installing those in a separate video, but once you have those installed, then you can use these branding details. Or if you want to customize an existing report, you can then use these branding details. So if we have a look, um, you'll see in the branding details, we can specify some coloring, some changes to the addresses, um, some details about contact information um, that we can type in, notes and some additional options for images. Now what I've also done if we have a look at the setup, so let's go and open up another tab here If we go into accounts receivable in this particular case, this is one example, but if we go into the form setup and we can find form setup here, you'll see that we have details about the invoice um, options to print, for example, but if I go into the general print management, for example, and I find the customer invoice. So this is my print management settings. Now I've changed the report format to be sales invoice modern. So the standard option here would be sales invoice report. So this is one of the new reports that's been configured to run. So once I've done that, then this is the report that's going to use and therefore that report is coded to pick up these branding details. So let's have a look at the output. So if I go to a sales order, this is my sales order here, and if I've already sold, picked back and shipped and invoiced this, I'm going to reprint the invoice. I've got to invoice and then I'm just going to view my original document. This is what the output will look like. It's a little bit more uh, nicely formatted, a little bit more visual. Obviously you can still modify it yourself from uh, that point of view. So I've put a logo on here, so this is where the logo uh, comes up for example. Now if we wanted, you'll see that there's a secondary logo, so this will print in the bottom corner. So if there's some branding or marketing uh, that you might want to put in the bottom corner, you can do that. So you'll see if we go and redo this now. So let's go and view original. So you'll see if I scroll down to the bottom, this is that logo that comes there. And then there's a logo 3 which will show up just beside it, for example. As well, there's some additional notes. These are um, typed in notes but they could be marketing messages so uh, primary note line one for example um, and if I just copy these and we'll change them so these will be the notes as well for example we could change the formatting of the address so it's in four lines here if we say collapse address it'll be two lines for example so we'll save those changes and let's go back and rerun. Alright, so we'll see the address gets collapsed here and you'll see primary note, uh, for example, uh, gets printed. So the different reports will pick up the different lines. Now, again, it's just a manually type in. As well, you can change um, some of the colors. So you'll see, for example, if I want to change this to green to match um, what I've got in my client, for example, if we go and rerun this, then my report's going to show up. You'll see the 
uh, header here is in the green, the um, bolding is in green, my lines are in green. So there's a few things that pick up from that green colour. So you can obviously modify it further, but it gives you a little bit of parameterization to make the uh, report look a little bit lined, uh, uh, nicer um, from the standard sort of out of the box. So you can find that underneath the organization administration. And it's called branding details, but again, um, they won't come up on the reports unless you've got the additional modern report pack installed. So I'll cover that in a later video.